we are in uh, we are in ninth grade and we are going over the vocabulary. We did Gurdon, which means reward, and you did Haughty. Would you repeat that for me? Oh, uh, blatantly and disdainfully proud, having or showing an attitude of superiority and contempt for people or things perceived to be inferior. Good. And then my sentence is: He rejected the offer with a tone of haughty disdain. Very good. Resolute. Um, I said marked by firm determination. And then the sentence I said, he has remained resolute in his opposition to the bill. All very good. How about Harbor? I said a tunic of chain mail worn as defensive armor from the 12th to 14th century. And uh, there is a picture on page 49, a sketch of what they think it would have looked like. So if you want to check that, it literally covers the whole, most of the body down to, in this case, it looks like below the knee. So it's, it's chain mail from the tip of your head down to your shins. Wouldn't it be heavy? Um, it's probably lighter than armor. So that would be an advantage. How about a sentence? I said people with history often wore fabric. What kind of people? That would help because that could be neckties or that could be pants. Or what kind of people wear halberds? Soldiers. 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 Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's not something bakers need to wear or school teachers. So I don't really know what the word means unless you add that. Okay. How about churl? Great. A medieval peasant. Right. And hey guys, let's, I, this isn't very exciting, but I feel better when we've done it. We only do it twice a quarter. So it's not like we're doing this every single day. You can, you can be quiet for a few minutes even though you got it all in front of you, uh, somebody's still gonna get it wrong. I don't know why, but this is part of the learning process. So my question was, uh, it's it, what you said, medieval peasant, but it's usually a derogatory term. Just know that. It's, it's, you may be a, a you know, very important person in the Middle Ages, and they call you a churl because they're mad at you. How about a sentence? said the great God was a churl Right. Did you have a question, Ben? Uh, I was going to say, could it be also a, a rude person? Yes. Okay. And, and that's when it really is an insult. All right, Amanda Upbraid. I can use that. Um, sure. So it means sure. to criticize or scold severely. Right. Because his mother summoned him, upbraided him for leaving the house. And when you, so when you're upbraided, that's, you mentioned the part of the definition is severe. Um, it's it's pretty strong, so you're really letting them have it if you're upbraiding. All right, how about tempest? Um, oh, so when his mom, when his mom summoned him, she upbraided him for leaving the house. Okay. All right, uh, tempest. Um, a violent storm. Yes, it can mean. Um, Let's see, what have I got here? It can also mean just any uproar. You know, it could be a tempest in the uh, cafeteria or something. You know, just it's a violent uproar, but it is also a storm. Send it. Um, I said the tempest was so intense he had to take shelter. All right. How about Jacob Mirth? On the internet, especially as it's spread by gossip. Yeah. Um, his eyes were. That's a good sentence. I like that. Uh, heretic. Griffin. Heretic. A person who differs in opinion. One more time. A person who differs in opinion. Yeah. And, and it's actually maybe a little stronger than that, too. It's someone who teaches something, believes something that's in opposition to the prevalent opinion. And it doesn't have to be just church. There's a whole circle in hell in Dante, which we'll read, for heretics. And you know how the heretics are being punished? They're, they're in flaming coffins and tombs. And so the idea is they were so rigid in their thinking, they refused to see the truth. And so they were teaching falsehood, and the, the coffin represents that rigidness. And also they were putting people in coffins. They were making other people's thinking rigid and un unflexible, inflexible to the truth. So um, that's a that's a good definition question. Um, so I can put one of those. Yeah, that's, 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 
Heresy is a noun. Heretic uh, is either an adjective or it's a person who commits heresy. And then my definition was one who is not conformed to the established attitude, doctrine, or Right. That's right. Uh, how about air? We got to go to Ben. Uh, before in time. So it's preposition. It's the only way you should use the word. It's really limited, but don't use it too often because before it works better in modern language than air. Did you have a sentence? Uh, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Okay. It's not. Do you have a sentence? Uh, With yeah, air. I do. It's from the Hobbit. So we must away air break of day to find our way. Before, yeah, that one. we get it. I don't remember it. Yeah, I, yeah, right. I don't remember what I had, but I remember that. Aiden, you have a question? Oh, yeah, it was about um, the definition of heretic. Oh, we got that. We got it. Yeah, I was wondering if a person who practices religious heresy would be. Well, um, you remember, you, you never define a word with the word. So, heresy and heretic being the same word, essentially, you'd have to define heresy. Yes. What do you say for the word prudence? I don't think we're there yet. I think I skipped it. So why don't you do prudence, um, Andrew? Oh, prudence. Yes, sir. What are you What are you looking at right now? I'm looking at my flashcard. I mean, which which word? Which word? Yeah. Oh no, it's behind. Look for prudence. Yes, sir. I don't think I have these in order. Um. Why are you looking for prudence? Would you do Vespers? Uh, oh, yeah. Five minutes. The six of the ten canonical, canonical hours that are said are sung in the late afternoon in service of evening worship. All right, so the key there is it's worship or prayer, and it's afternoon or late afternoon, evening. That's, it's very limited in its scope. That's It really can't be much of anything else. So, did you have a sentence with Vesper? Yeah, but I don't know if it was the word. It said, after they had sung the Vespers, the church service is over. Yeah, but make sure that you something to indicate afternoon or evening, because that's what a Vesper, that's what Vespers are. Go back to prudence. Yes, have okay. A, prudence or prudence? Prudence. Prudence, okay. I said good judgment. Uh, the official showed prudence by avoiding dark alleys at night. If you want to call it caution or wisdom, any of those words, they mean essentially the same thing. Uh, Julie Wan, W A N. Sickly or feeble? Well, it's a persickly. Yeah, it's usually a pale color, like the moon can be wan, but it's a pale color that indicates you're not feeling well. So. And my sentence was, she gave a wan laugh. Laugh? A wan laugh, I guess. Okay. You'd want to make it clear enough. Um, I'm not sure I would get that if I didn't. You didn't explain it to me. You know, like I would. What kind is a wand? I don't get it. Um, but anyway, just make it sure it's really clear. Livia Benison. Maybe you skipped that requiem. I don't know why I'm doing that requiem. Is it unfaithful? Yeah, or cowardly. It is a noun, so it's really a coward or um, a person who betrays, it would be a requiem. How'd you use it? A requiem is taught by his officer. One more time. A requiem is taught by his officer. All right, and we'll go to Benison. I'm going to give you the rest just to um, cut the time. And swoon means to faint, tap out, I think. Um, I'll just give you a quick context. Uh, Dante often faints or swoons when he's going and when he's in hell. For obvious reasons, things he sees are pretty disturbing. Yes? What is the definition of Did you tell her again? Uh, blessing. Oh. All right. Debonair means suave or vain. Um, uh, what are some other words uh, that, what? Confident, uh, well-dressed. You know, just the, the picture of uh, James Bond. 
Supine. Supine means face up, prostrate is face down. How do you move? Why is supine on the back and the restaurant? So the definition would be face up? Yep. All right. Um, this quiz will be a week from today. I think it is. I will put it on the board. But you got a week, guys. There should be no excuses for not making an A or a B. It's completely in your hands. You know exactly what to expect. You just got to prepare it. Turn to page 73. Yes. I can't hear you. Can you repeat what it said to him? Uh, Sentinel is a guard. Yes. So the uh, song of blood questions, what are 17 and 18? Uh, hang on a minute. Any other questions about the cat? We can put that on. Make it quick. One minute. 